Alright, good evening. We were not about to let the horrors of Anno 1602 and the Mike Genocide stop the schedule today. We are on with Sim Sunday, and we're going to play something that's new to the stream and new to me entirely. This is Emperor, Rise of the Middle Kingdom. I'm going to trust everything looks and sounds okay. Well, I've shaken things up a wee bit. But, wait, never mind that. Let's check this out. Uh, choose our Emperor, that is going to be Marvin, of course. And we're going to play, we might as well play the historical campaign, because I really need to learn how this game works. It gives us a choice of seven different things, but I might as well play through the tutorial here for the Shia Dynasty. And if I get my microscope out, I might be able to read the text here. Begin your journey into ancient China here. Great, we'll do it. Welcome to ancient China, home to the world's oldest continuous civilization. You are about to travel back in time over 4,000 years, for it was then along the fertile banks of the Wei River that several families banded together, discarded their nomads' cloaks, and established a small settlement. As village elder, it is your duty to plan the layout of this new settlement. You will be called upon to provide your people with food and water, as well as a means to slake their spiritual thirst. All right, so we're going to get exactly what we'd expect from Caesar, I imagine, I hope. All right, this is our lovely vibrant map, and it's not going to... Unlike Caesar, it's not going to speak to us about how to build your city. Just show us here. Give them shelter, so yes, build houses along the roads, I know that much. Road access is important, yes it is. Get messages, fine. Thirst for nothing. A wise sage once said, if one person builds a well, 1,000 families will have water to drink. And so it is that the first item your villagers need is simply drinking water. We can build a well grand... Hold on, a carrier? Okay, so uh, people actually deliver water. It's like Pharaoh. I did not like that very much, but what you going to do? It means that uh, water actually needs labor access and road access. What you'd expect from Caesar and Feng Shui, says Prince. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It has been recommended well. What, the scroll wheel works for this. I'm already amazed. Uh, pause by pressing P instead of spacebar. Fire prevention is built with what? These big yellow things? Um, the wattle and daub houses, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. Feng Shui. In China, Feng Shui plays an important part in determining the proper location. A uh, building displaying a green footprint when being placed is over a harmonious site. Da, 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 da. Inhabitants of the town are very good. They have greater esteem, whatever that means. For more information, consult the online help or the game's manual. Well, that won't be happening. We have the undo button as ever, the clear button, why is it a sword? Is it a sword? But why is it a sword? Road network, da da da. Okay, so it's telling you don't build intersections if you don't have to. Now finally there are roadblocks. You only had those by way of gate uh, gate houses in Caesar 3. It was kind of one of the weaknesses of the game because people did not understand the walker system for good measure. And Jings, this is long. Hunting season opens, the vacant bellies of your villagers are crying out in emptiness. Uh, they want fresh meat. So we actually build a hunter's post and they go and hunt. Not sure how I feel about that. Milling around, tasty game meat needs to be put into a mill, really? Yeah, okay, sure. Place the mill along the road looking up to the village. It should not be located near the houses. Mills attract vermin, and your townsfolk don't want to be next door to the mill. Speak for themselves. And then market square for dispersing goodies. Ooh, it's kind of an interesting way to build it. And under this... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that is more reading than I can handle. Let's just build and see what happens. So I was pre-warned that houses are already spawned as 2 by 2s which is kind of cool. There we go. We'll get all that. And then water, right? Where are we going to get our water? Agriculture, industry, commerce, safety. Okay, that, that all sounds really, really loud.
That might be better. We get ourselves that well. And we only need four people to work a well, just like you needed four people to work a fountain in the other one. Honorable Marvin, your city needs more workers. Oh, okay, sure. Do the tutorial stuff step by step. Don't try to cram in everything that's in this info panel at once. Okay. A city that plants well will always have food for new visitors. <laughs> Little does she know the hell she's arriving in. I feel uneasy about moving to a new city. You worry too much. I think we'll prosper here. There are plenty of opportunities for honorable labor in this city. Well, if you like carrying water over your shoulder, then you're going to be just fine. So... It's nout but huts around here for now. That'll probably change as the water person starts bringing water around. And there they go. I could think of worse places to live in this city. Like the Taklamakan Desert. I could think of worse places to live in this Man, city. Bad mouthing my city already. The Taklamakan Desert. Alright, now I should probably prevent fires. Because I think that's going to hurt me a lot. Okay, risk of fire. Now, uh, which of these were for fire? Inspector's Tower. That should take care of all the fire. Hopefully it takes care of them. These buildings are as solid as Mount Tation. A thousand things need to be done. And still, our leader fails to keep the people busy. So all people do is moan, moan, moan. Okay, so they got water, they got fire protection. Next up, we should get them fed, right? Hunter's tent. Now, does it matter where we put it? Your young town now boasts a population of a hundred. I'm not sure if that's something to boast about. Hmm. Inspectors take care of collapse as well, so I don't need to build engineer posts and prefectures. It's good, because it was kind of silly to build both in Caesar 3. They were almost always built together. They had longest range. Uh, so I'm just going to smack you down and see what happens. Let's speed up, see what you do. So there they go. Pheasant, pork, venison, whatever delicacy the Imperial Dining Room requires, I will provide it. Pheasant, pork, venison, whatever delicacy the Imperial Dining Room requires, I will provide it. Well, there are the pheasants, so go out there and shoot them. Kind of find it odd that they travel by road to go and hunt their game, but whatever. Okay, now they're off the beaten track. And they ignore that pheasant, going for this other pheasant, right? Pheasant, pork. Venison, whatever delicacy the Imperial Dining Room re Double cook, sweet and sour, or Kung Pao. Tough choice. But anyway, it is cook. This is going to be tasty. I don't think they had sweet and sour back in 2038 BCE. They didn't have soy sauce then. They didn't have soy sauce until much, much later. A little later, they introduce walls that isolate uh, houses from ugly buildings. These walls can be used to make even better roadblocks, since you can right-click them and instruct to discriminate different types of walkers. Amazing! All right, so I have better things to do than stand here idle with these goods. The city needs more warehouse room to take my heavy load. <laughs> uh, but yes, yes, you do. So the mill should be put somewhere f relatively far away. Does that work? Oh, well, the mill also needs labor access, but it should get it, right? I don't know why I have the road lead off this way. It's just going to bring worker, uh, bring people walking down there that don't need to go there. These buildings are as solid as Mount Tation. Great, we have food. Let's feed our people. On this enormous market square. Add shops to distribute goods. So I need to put on a common... A food shop, then. There we go. So food goes down to the mill and then back up to the commerce. That's good to know, so it means if it was 
a linear thing that I'd want to post, then mill, then marketplace. Many people are depending on me for high quality meals. I sure hope the meal has enough supplies to fill my order. Okay, everybody's still just living in uh, in huts though. Because the place is apparently very unappealing to live in. I bet if I built an ancestral shrine, everybody would be happier. The Feng Shui would be good. I forget what it even told me about the Feng Shui, though. Ah, yes, yeah, so if it's yellow, then it's not looking so good. Wait, what? No, the ground is affecting that. Well, I have no idea what's going on, but regardless, these people are looking happier now. Plain cottage needs plain food. By the way, Jake, you will continue this town in further scenarios, so you may want to rearrange your buildings. Huh, that's odd, but okay. Aesthetic is way more important than in Caesar. People hate living near hunter posts, for instance. Hmm. Is there a way to see that kind of stuff? Where are the overlays in this one? Messages Empire Map? Nice. Oh, well, that was well easy done. enough. You have successfully built a small village and fed them well on meat provided by the hunters. It is easy to see that you learn quickly. Press the proceed button to continue on to the next mission where your people will learn how to coax seedlings from the fertile land. All right, time to get our rice going. Welcome back to the village of Banpol. Several generations have passed and the village that your people founded along the banks of the Wei River has prospered. There is a renewed sense of excitement in the town today. Word has just arrived of a nutritious new food source, millet. As a highly respected village elder, you are needed to plan the establishment of farms where millet can be grown to supplement the diet. Hemp farms can also be built. The fibers from the hemp plant have many uses, not the least of which is for durable garments. All right, now we get to clothe our people. I didn't do it in patrician, but I uh, will be doing it here. Welcome back. I must be really, really old. Well, what's all this about? Select the build road and work our way down somewhere. And then we can build some farming stuff, I guess. Oh, you actually choose the size of the farm. That's interesting. Am I really playing Age of Empires here? Avoid adding road spurs off the main road. Each intersection gives roaming walkers unwanted choices. We need a warehouse for hemp. And they also don't like living next to warehouses. That's fair. And, oh, Jesus, all this reading. Can't we just, uh... Where was I meant to go to grow my rice, by the way? It was probably down here, right? Uh, this is far, as far down as the map goes. So, living next to the hunter tent is that undesirable, is it? I'll 
smack you down here then and get rid of it. People think you are enlightened. Okay, sure. Alright, we'll get them their plain food then, hopefully. But I gotta figure out this farming lark. And I didn't pay much attention, but how much am I meant to build of this? Da 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 da. After building an access road to the farm, press the agriculture, farms, farmhouse, build a farmhouse, good. They have no risk of collapse, so you don't have to worry about them being inspected. Good. Try to find a site where the footprint is completely green, also did that. Ask any farmer, most plants grow best in rich, fertile soil. Before placing a farm, you should study the terrain. Locate the best places. Thick, luscious grass. Well, we've got tons of that down here. Barren, rocky ground is best avoided. Don't expect much yield. Fine. With the agriculture button, crops, millet field. Roam the cursor around the farmhouse when it turns into a green follow field depiction. You can click and drag the mouse to... Uh huh. So is it telling me just to plant everything everywhere? Because that's what I'm hearing. That's the stuff. Yeah, this one was made four years after Caesar. And they knew they had a winning formula. <laughs> it's called bland food. But they want appetizing food. Well, too bad for them. There's probably a lot of unemployment giving the, uh, the very few jobs there are. I'm tempted to build another hunter post, but this addition of food should be fine. I wonder how it gets its labor, though. Is there still, uh, do people still send out walkers to get labor, or is labor global? I don't know. Double cook, sweet and sour, or kung pao. These buildings are as solid as Mount Taishan. I hope the shops have finished supplies for me to sell. <laughs> Bad. Okay, so you're going to make me some food, right? Jake, you also need a hemp farm. I mean, need is a relative term. Right, let's get some good feng shui going. Road it up. And let's get that hemp. It's good, right? There we go. Do that back-breaking labor. You're more popular than Din Sum. Okay, there is probably not enough food if people are moaning about that kind of stuff. Is it worth me putting a roadblock here, then? Roadblocks prevent people from wandering into certain parts of town, but people in a hurry to get to their destinations will ignore a roadblock. What does that even mean? Get your feng shui going. Just wait till you get into making boon dollar with trading. I love making boon dollar. Let's 
so it does seem to be a lot more about uh, irregular harvests than Caesar where you just constantly churn out food. We'll see which is the better option there. But I do really think we should have more food coming in. Yeah, I'll make another hunter tent. So what does the Feng Shui of a building even do? I, I didn't quite capture that part. Hygiene is very good, but weakening. But... Uh huh. Well, that's not good. So is that uh, that was probably the roadblock stopping the inspector from going down here. If I had to uh, had to think what caused that. Or I could have another inspector out here, but why do that if it's not necessary? Alternatively, I can just... Where was that guy? Put my mill over here. So if I put it over here, then that will actually get the attention of uh, the guy that's walking around, probably. But I also need a warehouse. And the Feng Shui is all bad no matter where I look. How do I even know what the good Feng Shui is? I mean, it's good here, bad there. I don't get it. Well, if you say it's good there, it's good there. And now I'm being told it's much better just to put down another inspector. Well, that can be done as well. But again, what the heck is up with Feng Shui? Oh well, it matters little. Ah, we've got lots of game and millet coming in. Hopefully the food shop will buy it all up. I it said disgusting food, but no, it's distributing food. Well, it's making all my people very happy. Probably something else I'm missing though, like something about turning this uh, this hemp into clothes. A hemp shop must be added so that hemp, once available, can be distributed to your villagers. Prepare the mill wheel. Right click orders get millet at the mill. But it is getting it. These people demand that the uh, the look of the place increases, so that sounds like time for gardens. You all like that, right? And now they demand the hemp. Okay, so now we can build that hemp shop. I think I'm learning. I mean, it's pretty much the same routine as Caesar, right? You just need to get into the nuance of this game. The trouble with Pharaoh is that it never really grabbed me. I just did not care about building along the Nile. 
Oh, what do we have here? Attractive cottage. And it needs access to music now. Alright. I forget what my goal even is here. Meat sliced soup or steamed meat buns. Now the mill has two types of food available. The food shop can make plain quality food. To ensure that it only serves plain and not bland, right click to change minimum quantity. Ah! So you have more control over what people eat instead of having to awkwardly position your farms. That is good. That is very good. So minimum quality is now plain. Ooh. When can I get some music? Congratulations! Under your wise tutelage, the people of your village have mastered the new art of farming. Thanks to you, they now reside in much sturdier, more attractive cottages. The village of Banpaw on the Wei River continues to thrive, but ill health threatens, and the villagers begin to grow restless for lack of entertainment. It is fortunate that wise herbalists can now proffer their remedies to the townsfolk, and talented musicians can provide relaxing tunes. At the kiln, clay can now be fashioned into fire-hardened ceramics. The end product is not only beautiful, but will be much appreciated if offered in homage to the creator goddess, Nu Wa. So we got the new Wa coming in. Music, and actually making people a bit healthier. Jeez, can I just not read that? All right, so what's going on? First I want music, and I'm pretty sure I have tons of... Really, I feel like I keep bringing down the sound, but it's not enough. The game's loud. There we go. It's not blowing my ears off. Um, I already put down an ancestral shrine. I don't even know what it was meant to be doing. But I would like my people to actually enjoy some music. The question is, where would the Feng Shui be best? I don't know. We'll just slap it over there. Residential walls. Kind of want to see what that's like. But we'll figure it out in due... Oh, it goes over the, uh, the roads as well. That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, what was the other problem? Lack of, you know, living. So, herbalist stall? I'm left wondering how these guys get labor at all. Maybe farms don't draw. Uh, maybe there is a global labor pool. I just have no clue. I'm gonna have to get my ceramics eventually, but I want to make sure this is all working fine. This guy's a bit unhappy. But appeal can be fixed with loads of gardens. Ooh. Oh! Spacious dwelling. Labor is global, says Siri. Thank you. Dennis says, I already told you five times. Okay, so it's kind of hard for me to read chat given the layout right now because uh, there's no way to move the Emperor uh, window, at least as far as I can tell. Congratulations, your population has reached 500. Great, but we need some ceramics for them. Build the music school further away from houses. Musicians perform at the market. Uh, so what's the problem with having it um, here? This music school has so many students that neighbors complain about the noise. Huh. Well, hot damn. We've got plenty of dosh so we can do that. 
really know what <laughs> this feng shui mechanic is. Uh, it's odd to me, but what can you do? Alright, so I've fulfilled all that stuff. That's good. We have our farms going just fine. Industry, however. We require a clay pit and a workshop. Now, how does the clay pit work here? Is it like Caesar, or is it new stuff? The good things. We did music. Click on an attractive cottage that the announcer has passed. It will likely state it needs access to a herbalist. We have a cure for that. Oh, oh, oh. A good place for new healthcare is near the market square opposite the new music square. Yeah, okay, sure. Herbalist will emerge from the stall and make their rounds and everybody will be happier. Okay, good. It just works. No need to worry about it. Now that your town has access to music, once February rolls around, you'll be asked if you want to have a New Year's festival. You must have a small stockpile of food and some cash. No party is free. Having it will make people happy and boost popularity, but I don't know anything about popularity or happiness, so why care about that? Hygiene, I don't get it. As the herbalist continues to make the rounds, your townsfolk will begin upgrading their homes into spacious dwellings. What we got there? Controlling unrest. Uh, another safety structure that can be built is the watchtower. The guard that emerges from the watchtower uh, patrols your town. Keeps unrest to a minimum. There's no risk of unrest at low amounts, but we are at a relatively high uh, population now, so that's okay. Check the current level of unrest in your village with the safety. Build a watchtower, but where do I build? Okay, it needs to be along the road as usual, as most things do. Wall off the vermin. Uh, well, there's no Irish all the way over here, so what's the point? Houses are still attractive cottages, then we can wall off things. It's good. Building walls is good. That that does look very good. Hmm. Alright, but it's not told me anything about clay. That's what I want to look at right now. Well, I should build some walls before I look at clay, right? Okay, just shows how unappealing my lands are. This I like. This I like a lot. It's not the most complete wall you ever did see. Now I also want to rotate my map around. There's a way to do this, but how? dangerously aesthetic as in I'm drooling a little bit at the thought of uh, making cities with beautiful walls like this mm. it's got that uh, got that cozy element for it uh, Dennis says as for Feng Shui each building has one of five elements each element has a different requirement to be harmonic Da, 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 da. Okay, but what does it do? Yeah, also, it told me to build a watchtower, right? Where are those watchtowers at? Must be under safety, right? 
it's all very non-feng shui like around here. There you go. Okay, this all looks perfectly acceptable. The city is like a loop with missing strings. There are so few jobs. It wouldn't surprise me if people start leaving. Oh, people can't leave. I now watch them. I've had better fortune. I've had worse. Alright, this is all looking fine. Hemp shop, ceramic shop. I mean, I have no ceramics yet, so should probably solve that first. How do I make ceramics? Game, tell me. Probably won't surprise me, but I should figure out how to do it correctly. Da -da 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 -da. Industrial expansion. Now's the time to get some industry started. Oh, I could have more money. This is true. Put the masses to work. You need to establish an industrial area. Always keep industrial sections away, preferably walled off from your residential sections. Build a road as shown here. Easily done. Uh, ceramics, kilns, yes. Place a clay pit. Oh, so you can just do that anywhere? So how many are needed? One industry is needed to supply another. In this case, the clay pit is needed to supply the kiln. The best efficiency is achieved by locating them near each other. Okay, one clay pit supplies two kilns. Now I know everything I need to know. I wonder what the problem with uh, creating loops is if uh, if labor is global. Strikes me as an odd thing to have. But I'll probably come to love it, and who knows, Caesar 3 might end up being horrifically unplayable after this. So, industry. Clay pit. One. I mean, I don't know how much unemployment I've got. Where would the game tell me? Unemployed is 153. This uses 14 employees. Well, then I think we're having a couple of clay pits. And kiln. Ah, oh, the thing. Bloody shui is not good here. But it would be good over here. But not there. But what? What? What does good Feng Shui even do? Hmm. Hope the uh, the inspector makes their way up there. Jake, typically industry wants to be near rocks. Mm. Do they like being near these rocks? Yeah, maybe that's it. It's pretty rocky around here too. I'm not sure I like that. It kind of tells you where you're going to be building. Double cook, sweet and sour, or kung pao. Tough choice. But anyway, it is cooked. This is going to be tasty. Feng Shui makes people happy. Offerings to the gods become more effective. And I think it slightly increases production of harmonic buildings. Hmm. Put a roadblock under the inspector's tower. Farms don't need to be inspected. This is a point. Farms just work. I've been evicted by that greedy pig of our landlord. I hope our dragon eats him. So there must have been devolution, right? 
but people won't proceed until there are advertise uh, appetizing food, which probably means what exactly? Probably means a third type of food. Not that we worry about that. So there's loads of hemp piling up here. I do not know what the scales of production are for this game, but I'm sure I'll find out in due time. Okay, here you go, and you don't know what to do. I have better things to do than stand here idle with these goods. The city needs more warehouse room to take my heavy load. So, for some reason, you're not accepting ceramics. I don't know why not. Go and go and take them. And now that I have ceramics, I can set up my ceramic shop. Oh, great Marvin, the new year has arrived. Do you wish to hold a festival? Yeah, sure, why not? Didn't tell me what the costs were, but I'm sure it was fine. I never run any festivals in Overall, Caesar. this city has the foundation to be successful. I could think of worse places to live than this city. Ha ha ha! Gong Oh, yeah. Good for you. Ah, at least everyone's happy. Now I need to figure out how to peddle all my wares here. I want to sell some of this ceramics to uh, to the wider world, really. Jake kilns are fire elements, so harmonious in added land, but is disrupted by ore-bearing rocks. Harmonious over the... Uh, you're running kind of low on millet crops. Looks like I got tons of this stuff there. Absolutely tons of it. Ah, this place looks fine. So how do I sell all these ceramics? Because my own money is going down here. You have tons now because it was a harvest five seconds ago, says someone who was paying attention. So I can have a hero come over? What's all that about? What ancient heroes? Something about a last homage? <laughs> Drama coverage, terrible. Acrobat coverage, terrible. Ah, you're welcome. Okay, this is stuff about it. And we have no heroes in the city, so I don't know what's going on there. Fireworks is something else you can make and sell here. In the religion tab, you can click on the word religion in the top right. Religion tab. Ah, that's a button. Okay. So, Nuwa is unhappy. Let's play homage to you. You want. Uh, let's give you some ceramics. Just take the whole lot. I did not have eight crates of it, which is actually 800 of them. Well, here you go. Take a reasonable amount. You paid homage to a hero. Wait at least a month to give another get. Okay. But I have no hero in the city. Ah, things are running smoothly. Oh, except the building has collapsed. Interesting. I kind of needed that building. It was pretty important to us. But I am wondering why it collapsed. Or rather, I'm wondering why it lasted so long until it collapsed. Uh, where did it 
to go again. Workshop, fire pit. Mill. Oh wait, no, it's Feng Shui, it was bad. No, it was good, okay. Ah, forget me. a lot of food with that thing collapsing. Mm. Oh nice, I'm absolutely stacked with hemp and ceramics. But is there not a way to sell all this stuff? And also, how do I win this, uh, win this part? Two months of heroes. Uh, yes. Ah, and I got uh, ways to do this. Really though, how do I make any money from my industry? Trade is apparently in the next mission. Okay, just so much reading here. Neglected, wow. There we go, now they're happy. We're now worthy of an ancestral hero. Great, give me a hero. I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep placating this new wah. Well, great Marvin, it's arrived. Yeah, let's have a festival, why not? Let's just spend all of our money. And, I don't know, you want some hemp? Because I got a lot of that. You have pleased the ancestors, I have deemed you worthy, and I will do what you ask. Says Nuwa. Is that Nuwa? The city could be doing better. I should inspect the city for hazards. Before trouble strikes. I've had better fortune, I've had worse. So, what's Nuwa doing, other than moving faster than most others? Just wandering around, being joyful. Hmm. Good job. The arrival of the herbalists and musicians have certainly improved the lifestyle of your villagers. Their spacious new dwellings are a big improvement and are much appreciated. It is a pleasure that you could join us again, Honorable Village Elder. Your wisdom and guiding hand has ably served the town of Banpal. Previously, you laid out the village's houses and other community structures, kept the population fed on game meat and millet, established a booming ceramics industry, and, with generous homage offerings, attracted the venerable creator goddess Nuwa. Now wheat, Another nutritious grain can be grown to supplement the harvest. More importantly, however, a world beckons beyond your village walls. Already, explorers have departed Banpal in hopes of discovering other towns. As leader, you will soon learn how to interact with other cities of China. Sounds like the worst thing you could want to do. Still, 500 people, which I should already have, one trading partner, and produce four jade carvings in a year. Sounds easy, right? Uh, out with the old. Wheat farms can now be planted to supplement the diet. When one crop is out of season, another might be in season, which keeps the farms labor busy for other. Ooh, oh, that I like. That I like a lot. So we'll 50 50 with. Uh, with millet and wheat. More milling around. To handle food overflow, let's build a second warehouse. Have it accept only food. Okay, and then I can sell it, right? 
next step up. Besides appetizing food, which requires three food, supply of ceramics is necessary. Alright, so we need a ceramic. Sh Wait, didn't I already build one? Shut down an individual building if we need to, okay, but I need to find out to sell my goods to the wide, wide world. We'll go to the Empire map, there'll probably be somewhere else that I can click on and start trading with. Yeah, sorry, let's just jump right into it. I mean, how could you possibly care about whether your warehouse has good feng shui or not? So, accept food, don't accept anything else. That seems fine. Empire map. The bum pull, but I'm not seeing. Uh, Not seeing anyone else to trade with, sadly, so never mind that. Oh. I am the greatest ruler in history, and I rule over 697 people. Damn, I'm good. Alright, time to 50 50 this place. So I want to go to farms. Uh, crops, wheat. Okay, maybe I gotta clear this stuff first. Yeah, wheat sounds a lot better than millet anyway. I wonder if I'm going to need another mill or not. Mm -hmm. The graphics remind me of Sim Safari. Did you ever play that game? No, no I did not. It does not sound particularly inspiring. Alright, why can't I trade though? What am I missing here? It's good to get a second food farmhouse. Really? My food supply seems pretty good. I mean, I could be completely wrong. But frankly, if this one big farm can't supply all these people, then... Not to mention I'm su uh, supplemented with these two meat guys. Ah, I should run the numbers someday. It really helped with Caesar when I was able to go like, okay, one wheat farm in a non northern province can give me 320... Uh, can feed 320 people in a year. That was good knowledge to have. 160 for other farms. And knowing the production of all these buildings helps so much. Okay, but still, I'm overflowing with goods and i got no idea how to get rid of them. How do I trade game? There's not much a better way to dispose of excess goods than appeasing a hero. No, I'd really rather trade it for money. Well, if they insist. Hey, Shenong, I have some of my stupid ceramics. Oh, you have to wait a while to... to do it for each of them. It's a shame, that seems like tedious micro. A city to trade with will appear in a few months. Well, time to super speed it then. Ah, there's a place called Hemmudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudamudam
You must appease the gods, they smite you otherwise. There must be a way to appease them that doesn't require clicking on this all the time. What is this game's version of uh, the Oracle? Uh, who are those guys? Departure time is always exciting. I only hope to return with my head on my shoulders. It is with much honor that I am off on another mission for the well-being of our great city. Uh, you know what Caesar's strength was? They didn't try to go for funny accents. Everyone was a fairly neutral British person. Okay, then I remember the cart pusher in my head. Okay, what if I want appetizing food to be uh, the bare minimum here? Maybe I should wait until we have some actual uh, wheat in stock. Because I don't think we've planted or grown any yet. There is no other way to appease gods. Oh dear. Alright. Let's trade then. And he answered twice because I asked him twice. The city is like an ancestral grave swept only on holidays. Okay for now, but more could be done. Plants and herbs offer many medicinal benefits. As the divine farmer, I could bless farms when the crops are in season to increase yields. As the divine farmer, I could bless farms when the crops are in season to increase yields. The city is like a loot with missing strings. There are so few jobs, it wouldn't surprise me if people start leaving. No one leaves, that's why I built the wall. Okay, so what do I have to care about right now? I want to trade with my friend, I want to give him loads of ceramics that are piling up here. Maybe I should carve some jade as well. I was told to do that after all. Artisan, jade. But what does a jade carver need to operate? How about some bloody feng shui. Explorers have returned and they've discovered a place called... Alright, let's get rid of that. Let's roadblock off the, uh, the farm there. And maybe even the farm there. And learn a bit more about carving jade. Carving Jade. Jade Carvers, here we go. Near the kiln, da da da, lengthen the road if you need to. A delivery man with a trading station will depart with a load of jade to deliver to these studios. Wait, where's he getting the jade? Well, I guess I need to import it then, because I don't see myself making it. Okay, I'm gonna go off at the uh, go off the beaten track here and do this my way. He says, trying to figure out what he's doing. I don't care about the feng shui of this warehouse. It's going there, and it's not going to accept anything. Can I make it just not accept all? Ah, fun. Something that was really missing from Caesar. I'm surprised they don't have it here. Just tell everything to not accept everything. I actually want you to accept carved jade and jade, however. And I will find a way to get me that jade. Ah, they sell us jade. Well, oh, they're pathetic. Okay. Well, you must build a trade station to trade with them. Good to know. Let's speak with these guys and have them open trade with us as well. Okay, trade station. Oh, they're huge. Absolutely huge. Sweet jeez, that's huge. Okay. I've been trying to care about Feng Shui, but it's just not happening.
Okay, I want to import Jade then. Buy the Jade. And then I guess these guys, when I open up, will, uh, will buy my cut Jade. Jake, your wheat is in a warehouse. I think markets can only collect from the mill. Yeah, uh, that makes me wonder why it's going there and not there. Hmm. Then again, this place is jam-packed, right? How much can it even hold? What is the capacity of this place? Thirty-two total. Thirty-two? What an odd number. Well, I guess if there's four different types of food, then you can have uh, eight of each of them. maybe possibly work. Alright, hopefully I'll end up with some jade soon. A man can hope. Alright, we got jade. And it went here. I don't think there was any point in you getting the jade then. If it ends up there. What I do want then is... Do, 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 jade carving. How many? I don't know. None of them are going to be very feng shui-like. I'll have three. Three is a good number. Do you want to hold a festival? Why the heck not? I have better things to do than stand here idle with these goods. The city needs more warehouse room to take my heavy load. <laughs> heavy load. Alright, I want to sell my ceramics then. Might as well just get rid of the whole lot. Oh, I can charge more money for them. Great, eh? Okay, Dewen Co rejects our pleas. So I'll probably have to blockade them a bit. Press X in the warehouse to disallow everything. Why, well, thanks. I mean, the other guys were apathetic and they, they were happy with us. So I guess I'll give them a gift. Give them some ceramics. Got tons of those. So I'm currently spending all my money importing jade that I'm cutting and nobody gets. Goodbye money. Also, what am I meant to do with all this hemp? It's just piling up. Like it's really not wanted. Okay, great. Now we got three types of food. Maybe. They really appreciate your generous gifts. They sorely needed it, apparently. You've pleased ancestors and... Our city's glory burns brighter than the New Year's fireworks. I'm sure they do. Uh, okay, they're still kind of pathetic, but please open trade with us. Hmm. An emissary asks permission to enter the city. He, he may be peaceful. Well, let's let him in. I wish to give you a gift of three piles of uncut jade. The problem is your storage facilities can't accept them now. I'll return in a month's time to offer it again. Clear some space if you'd like to accept it. Okay, so he can only put it in a warehouse. He can't put it in my trader's place. Okay, sure. Which means you can accept jade. That's nice that people give you gifts like that. But what's not nice is all this stuff 
breaking down. I guess it's because I moved that. Oh boy, down and down and down they fall. This building is about to collapse. Heavens knows what your Feng Shui is all about, but there you go. Ha! It's a loss for us all. Excellent, now we can trade with the other losers. As soon as I rebuild my broken industrial area. Whilst not caring at all about Feng Shui. Okay, hopefully this means I can start selling... Hmm. I had assumed I could start selling. See, he buys my carved jade. You must build a trading station to trade with Dewenko, but I have a trading station. It's per... per region. I think I see. Hmm. Well, a bit short in space now, haven't I? So I don't need to import wheat, forget that, but I want to export my hemp, I want to export ceramics and carved jade. Now this should make me rich. Hemp just getting thrown in there. And cut shade. And I just need the traders to arrive and buy it all up. Okay, I think that's them, right? Uh, he's a man of few words. I'm on my way, but I'll surely be back for another trading day. Oh, I'm loving that money, though. It's all that cut jade, I guess. Which means there wasn't really much point to having this here when they would deliver it. I want to check that. If I don't accept carved jade, is it going to go directly there? 50% complete, 53, 93. And he drops it off there. Interesting. So warehouses aren't quite needed so much. Excellent work. It's easy to see that trade with other cities can be beneficial for both parties. You now have learned the basics of building a thriving town, feeding its people, establishing industry, and setting up trade with a neighboring city. It is now time, however, to leave the village of Banpol and found a new town at Early Tao. Here on the plains of Early Tao, a new town shall be established. The nearby river will provide plentiful quantities of delicious fish, and the fertile soil is ideal for bountiful harvests of nutritious wheat. Additional food can be imported from Hemudu or Banpo as necessary. As before, fine ceramics can be produced at kilns. It has been said that wonderful gifts come in small packages. And so it is true with the tiny silkworm. This marvelous creature, when fed a diet of tender mulberry leaves, produces a delicate strand of precious silk. Weavers can then meld these fragile filaments into luxurious garments, which are already highly prized by the growing number of new elite. Your village, in fact, 
needs a special neighborhood reserved for a number of these prosperous citizens. As word spreads of the beautiful silk being produced at your town, do not be too surprised if a greedy neighbor asks for some samples. Oh, they'll have to come and get some if they really want it. Blah, blah. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of reading, which I do not want to do. So it starts you out with some hints as to where to build, I would expect. Some raised area, which is probably nice to live in. And are there many new buildings? Hmm. Kind of miss the aqueducts already. Okay, it was a bit short and sweet, but I'm going to call it there for Emperor. And the main reason is because I really want to come back and play this game a lot. It remains to be seen whether I'm going to prefer it over Caesar, because Caesar does have that huge bonus of being Roman-based, and I do love Rome. Uh, but I want to sink my teeth more into this and get all autismal over the numbers for uh, means of production, like I did with Caesar, so I can understand it better, instead of flailing about like a fool in this tutorial. So Emperor will be back on the stream, but for now I think I need to go and dig a pit and bury my old busted microphone. And I will be back maybe tomorrow, but it is laundry day, probably more likely Tuesday. But until then, cheers and cheerio.